The William Way Community Center is located at 1315 Spruce Street in Philadelphia. It serves as Philadelphia's lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community center. From 1965 through 1969, members of the East Coast Homophile Organization demonstrated in front of Independence Hall, demanding equal rights for homosexuals. These events were called annual reminders and were some of the first civil rights demonstrations for gay and lesbian equality in the United States. The idea for a community center came out of the spirit of activism and community solidarity demonstrated during the annual reminders. Members of the Gay Activist Alliance, a group that was born in the big activist movement that started right after the Stonewall Riots, were the driving force behind the idea of a community center in Philadelphia. They wanted a space other than bars for socializing and to foster community spirit. It was in this spirit that the Philadelphia Gay Coffee House first opened its doors in 1973. It was located in the basement of 60 North 3rd Street, a building owned by the Quaker Friends Society. The Philadelphia Gay Coffee House featured speakers, folk singers, and poetry readings. After several years successfully running the coffee house, the community decided it was time to create a designated gay lesbian community center. The first official gay community center of Philadelphia opened in 1973 at 326 Cater Street. With the new space, the center was able to offer even more services for the community. There were workshops, a library, a gay phone switchboard, classes, dances, and community support services. The space for the center had to be rented on a side street. It featured holes in the wall and was in continual need of repairs, but that's all the community could afford. Despite this, a rent increase in 1983 meant that the Cater Street location was too expensive. The center then moved to 222 Kamak Street, a space that was in similarly crummy condition. From 1981 through 1983, the center operated out of the Kamak Street location, but in 1983, the center closed its physical location and became the new center project committee. The high price of rental space was, once again, the cause. From 1983 through 1985, the new center project committee worked on raising enough funds to reopen the center with the ultimate goal of buying a permanent space. In 1985, however, the committee's focus shifted because of the onset of the AIDS crisis. They realized trying to raise money for a community center was diverting funds from AIDS support. The Gay Community Center began to operate as Penguin Place Without Walls, realizing they would be without a physical space for a time. During this period, Penguin Place organized educational, support, and social activities for the LGBT community at various locations throughout Philadelphia. This included a community library operated out of West Philadelphia. By 1988, the committee for the center found a new location, 211 Quint Street. Still operating under the name Penguin Place, the center stayed here for two years until problems with the lease and a small fire necessitated a move. Also in 1988, tireless activist and community leader William Way died of complications with AIDS. The committee for the dissenter decided that, whenever a permanent physical space could be purchased, it would be named after him. The next location, 201 Kamak Street, was the last home for the center prior to its current location. It stayed there from 1990 through 1996. It was only in 1996 that the center had enough funds to start paying full-time employees. Finally, in 1996, the building at 1315 Spruce Street was purchased and the William Way Community Center opened its doors. It was the first LGBT community center in the U.S. to be bought with the help of a federal grant. The opening ceremony for the center was attended by Pennsylvania Governor Ed Rendell, as well as Barbara Giddings, one of the original organizers of the 1960s annual reminder demonstrations. Today, the William Way Community Center for the Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, and Transgendered Community offers a welcoming space through exhibitions, classes, an extensive library and archives, outings, and peer counseling. It stands as a testament to years of hard, unpaid work by dozens of activists and community members. Thanks to that effort, LGBT Philadelphians have a space to feel proud of.